I'll be taking you through one of the most powerful automation that I have built. Imagine this. Every time you upload a video on your YouTube channel, now you want to create a blog post related to that particular video. You will need to professionally write it, optimize it for the SEO, and then you have to look for the proper place where you have to add internal links or the affiliate links to properly place at a logical place. But this automation does it all without any manual input. So here is the workflow that I have built. So it's an AI powered YouTube video auto blogging and affiliate automation with NA10. I will explain you all the nodes once I complete running this and I will simply connect my affiliate link tool also here. It has partner stack API is connected. So it is taking 100 affiliate links and then it will logically add these links into the relevant a blog post which it will write. It is a technical blog writer based on the YouTube video once the YouTube video is published. So let me run this. Suppose a new YouTube video is published so it will automatically get the RSS trigger feed here. This is the YouTube video feed and here is videos.xml and then finally you have to add your channel ID. Of course this could be any channel. It's not only your channel. It could be any channel. But of course, when you get the video details, you need to provide your credentials here. So let me first of all run this and then I'll explain you one by one how I have built it and how you can use this particular workflow for your particular scenario. So test the workflow. It is fetching the video details, getting all the transcript and getting the sitemap from existing blog. And here you go. The technical blog writer. It is taking all the details, sending it to the AI model, which is Google Gemini chat model. And I'll show you which model I'm using. It will get the affiliate links, relevant categories, relevant post tags, and the relevant links from my uh, courses or books or whatever products or services I'm selling. Once it is completed, it will be moving to next node where it will be extracting this information and transforming it to the required fields for the blog post. It will get the image, which is the thumbnail image. You can, of course, generate the image also here, but I'm getting the thumbnail image from YouTube here, renaming the image, uploading that image to WordPress, then updating the image details on WordPress and then publishing it on WordPress. Now you can see it is doing its job, then updating the image details, and finally, publishing on the WordPress website. Done. It has successfully done it. Let me show you now the posts on my website. Let me refresh this. You will see here it's 23rd April was the last post. It will refresh and you can see here the new post which is published. It has taken all the relevant tags, NA10, open source, workflow, AI, and here is all the details. View post. You can see here on the Featured image, the YouTube thumbnail is added. Create your own personal AI assistant with Gmail integration, NA10 plus Gemini 2.5 demo. So here it has made the blog post. Even it has added the YouTube video also. Here you can see it has added the affiliate link. You can see here down partner stack link is there. If I just click this, so NA10 cloud is here. Get started with NA10 cloud and you can see here there is partner stack link. And then if I go down, it has added all the steps which I have used to build this AI assistant. And it has also mentioned how it will work beyond the Gmail feature, whatever is possible. And then learning resources, it has added Mnet and book, AI automation course, try Mnet and, and then relevant articles, it has also added. So why it has added relevant articles, I will show you that in detail now. As this blog is already published, I have not done anything and I'm satisfied with this, it is giving exactly what I wanted to get. Of course, instead of embedding the YouTube video, you can, of course, ignore that. So all of that can be added with the help of prompt. Let me explain you now all the steps that we have used in this particular workflow. So in the first step, as I have already mentioned, the first step is to use the RSS feed. So complete link is here. So you can just remove this YouTube channel link and you can add your YouTube channel link so it will get the details from there. In the first step, what it is doing, it is giving you the title, link, publish date, author and the 
YouTube video ID. So this is the video ID. So from here, I need to only extract this ID. So this is what I'm doing in next node. And next node, I'm replacing YT video with blank, which means that the output will be only video ID. Then I'm using this video ID to fetch the details from the YouTube channel. Here I have added the YouTube node. So this is the YouTube node. And this YouTube node is getting the video details of this particular video ID and it is getting all the fields. And that field contains, of course, the uh, snippet, title, description. And I'm using this description for the AI agent. And then it is also getting all the images and all the tags that I have used for this video and so on. Now, in next step, it is getting the transcript of that video. And this is, in fact, a free tool that I have seen, api.comi.ai. This is exactly the URL that you have to use to post the request. So it will give you the video transcript. So this is complete transcript as an output. So what you have to do, you have to send this JSON. And in this, this JSON, you have to use the video ID. Format will be true, but the video ID, you will be dragging and dropping from the video ID that you have got from the YouTube video details or where I have added the get video ID details. You can drag and drop it here so it will do its job. Now in this step, it has taken the video transcript also. Then I'm manually editing these fields. Of course, here I'm taking from this, I'm taking the title and link. Of course, this is optional. You can add title, link, and you can also add the transcript. I have not added that, but it's fine. You can add that. Then is get the site map of the Syncbricks website. So on this particular node, I am taking the site map of the uh, Syncbricks website, of course, the post site map, which is taking all the existing posts which are already there on my website. Then it is converting this site map. Of course, site map is in XML format, you can see here. And I want to convert this to XML to JSON. So in this particular node, I have converted the XML format into JSON. So now you can see the output is in the JSON, which has given me the XML URL set, and these are the URL sets. So in next node, I'm extracting only the URLs from here. So I extract the URLs. So where I have taken the URL sets from here, these are the URL sets and only the URLs have been added here. And next node, I'm merging all these URLs into one single output. You can see here there are 458 outputs and I'm merging them to make one single output. Then what I'm doing here in this particular node, I have edited this, I have added the lines, which means that Every time the URL will finish, it will go into the next line. So I will have all the links into single line. So every line will have one link. And then this particular information that I have gathered from here, whether it is the YouTube transcript, whether it is the sitemap, whether it is the uh, existing URLs from my blog posts, or whether it is, of course, the video details, all of that is going here to the AI agent. Now the magic happens here, of course. This is an AI agent, which is technical blog writer. And I have linked the, these tools. First of all, let me show you which AI model I'm using here. I'm using Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental. You can use 2.5 also. That also works great. And here is the affiliate links. I'm using Partner Stack. So Partner Stack API, you can, of course, go through the documentation of the API of Partner Stack. So I have taken all the partnerships link. I'm taking all these details. I'm also taking the WordPress categories here. So from my website, of course, without any authentication, I'm able to get all the categories, all the popular categories. In fact, you can see here, I have ordered by the counts and order, and I have taken only 20 categories, 20 popular categories. And then I have added 20 popular tags also here. These are 20 tags here. So popular 20 tags I have added. And then this is the Airtable. So I have got important links from my Airtable. There is important links table, which I have added into Airtable. So through the API, through the personal access token account of Airtable, I have got the records. And from the list, I have chosen the important links. And here is important links. And then the table is also important links because the important links have multiple tables. One is the website links and one is the important links. So I have taken important links. And it is automatically looking at all the entries in this table and then getting the relevant link which is related to this particular blog post. Here in the AI agent, what I have mentioned, I'll show you that. 
I'll just expand this so you can see in detail. So I have mentioned you are an expert, technical blog writer. I will not read through it, of course. I have shared it with you. You can go through it. But most important part is here. I have said that the given output should be as this. So you have to use format the blog post in Gutenberg. So it is not using the HTML format. It is using Gutenberg because it will automatically create the parts inside the WordPress website. So you don't need to manually do anything. You don't need to manually add header and all of that. This is what I have mentioned, the example. And then finally, I have told that do the JSON format in this particular way. And below is output from the YouTube video. So I have provided a video link, video title, video transcript, and then provided also the video description, which I added in the YouTube video. And then this is the list of existing blog posts. And these are the tags which I have added into YouTube video. This is done in both ways. So how I have done it that I added first the YouTube video and then I created the title description from that video using an automation. Now I'm using again that automation and I'm building the blog. So all of that is automatically done. You only have to record the video and publish that video. Its title, description, tags, hashtags will be automatically done. And once that is done, then you can write the blog automatically from there. So all you need to do is to record and publish the video, then you will get this particular out. Here you can see structure output parcel. So I have mentioned here, I'll just double click this. You will see here that required specific output format. So I have got the JSON format here and I have mentioned what should be the output. So I have provided the title, slug, uh, category, tag. It should be in this format, in fact. Then is the description, image prompt and content. So image prompt, I took it because in case I want to uh, generate an image instead of using the thumbnail uh, image of the YouTube, you can do that also. You can create a new node here, which can give you the image. Instead of this get image, you can generate the image using the open AI. So now I will show you what we have done here. So in this particular node, it is getting the blog post related data. So from the output which it is getting, it is converting that into a proper structure. So what it is giving me output, output is title, then is the slug, which is the link of the blog post which will be, then is the content, the complete content as an output, then is the uh, SEO description, then is the category, which it has taken the category ID. In fact, you cannot, of course, add the category name. It has to fetch the categories from the website, and then it has to give you those categories. So all these tags and categories has been added. In next node, what it is doing, it is getting the image. From where it is getting the image, it is getting the image from the YouTube. And here is the max default URL.jpg. Image is already here. You can see if I click on view, this is the image of that YouTube uh, thumbnail. And here I'm renaming this uh, image here. And once I'm renaming, of course, I'm then uploading this image to WordPress. Once I'm uploading this image to WordPress, and here I'm updating the image details. Whatever image I have uploaded, based on that, I'm updating its detail. What I'm updating, I'm updating the name of this, which is the title of this particular image. Then what should be the alt text of this image? So YouTube thumb thumbnail image of this, this, this. I have added, of course, you can change it. Here you can see the value of the caption. And here is the description of the image. So image detail is added here. And then finally, it is publishing on this particular node, it is publishing using the HTTP request. Of course, I have not added any WordPress uh, node. These are all HTTP nodes. The reason is because it gives the flexibility. In standard node, you cannot add uh, tags and uh, categories. In future, it might be available, but right now it was not available. So what we have done, we have used the post method. And in post method, we have used the WP, JSON, WP, V2, and posts. And here we have used the credentials of WordPress API in the WordPress, in the user account, you can create the application API and then you can give it access. So it will be available here. So it's extremely simple. You can just go to your WordPress website in users. You can create the API key. Once you have provided the URL of that, once you have provided the credentials, then you have to send the body. That body will be in the JSON format. And in JSON format, what you will be going to send, you'll be sending the slug. So you need to make sure that you use the fields, of course, you can use the JSON also, but I felt this was most convenient. So I knew the table structure because I have the WordPress uh, database also. From there, I have brought the slug. 
slug is the field that you have to send and I have dragged and dropped the slug. These were all the fields and blog post fields. I have taken the slug from here. I have taken the content from the content here. Served. I have taken this description from here and then status. Now you can either change the status to draft or you can leave the status to published or you can leave the status to pending. Depending upon whether you want to first of all validate whether it is correctly done or whether you want to directly publish it without validating it. So categories, it will take the categories. You can see here it is array of categories, which is 1678. If there are multiple categories, it will choose that. And tags also, it will be using multiple tags here. Title, title is of course the title. You can choose this title, blog title, which, which AI has generated. Or even you can bring the YouTube title directly from here as well. If you go to YouTube title, you can add that title, but here it has add, created its own title. So we have left that title here. And then the featured image. So from where the featured image has come, it has come from the JSON ID, which is of course here on the top. The first one is the image ID. So this one image ID we have dropped here. So 7893. So it will be linking that particular image to this particular blog post. So this is way you have to publish it. Once you will publish without any error, it has completed its task. And then we have seen that the blog post is available here. So this is a complete blog post, of course. Now, one important thing that you have to consider when you are using this is your requirement, in fact. So I have used YouTube video. Of course, you can use any other method. So from here, if the prompt is changed, now, for example, if you tell it that write a blog post related to X, Y, Z, it will automatically generate it. It will add the affiliate links. It will uh, create the, generate the image or it will get the image and then it will publish. So all these steps will remain same. You can, of course, dis, uh, disconnect this from here and add your relevant uh, nodes here, which will get your idea, whether you are getting the idea from uh, some other blog. So maybe some other blog post is there. So you want to get the latest blog from there and then regenerate the blog for your website. Or maybe you are sending the idea using the Excel sheet. You are sending the idea using WhatsApp or whatever idea you are sending. Only you need to change the prompt to make sure that the proper prompt is added here. And based on that, you will be able to publish it. Make sure you add relevant credentials here. So this is relevant to the LMS. Here you have to add the relevant credentials to affiliate link. You can, of course, add multiple tools here so that it will get the affiliate links and it will add these links within the blog post. Even if you see here, I have added these uh, uh, existing blog post links. So what it is doing, it is creating the internal links also within the blog which it is writing. And if you see here, it has uh, gathered all the internal links also if anything was related. Otherwise, it has given the related articles from the website. And you can see here, these are all the internal links. These are all the external links of all my courses that I'm teaching and the books that I have uh, created here. You can see this is the book. And if I click this, it will open the book on Amazon. This is how it works. So all these uh, posts will be automatically generated uh, and the relevant data will be coming from your YouTube video. Now I have also done the auto uh, generation of the YouTube uh, metadata. All you need to do is to record the video and publish it, leave the rest to the AI agents and the automation. It will automatically publish the post. It will automatically generate the post. This is a complete automation that I have built. Hope you like this video. Let's continue to next video now.